10th CBSC Chemistry Chapter Carbon and its Compounds In this video, you will understand the significance of carbon and also know the percentage composition of carbon in nature. We use a number of materials in our daily life like diesel, wood, LPG, the food we eat, clothes we wear, pencil, eraser, notebooks, paints, varnishes and so many. But do you know there is one element common among all this? It is carbon. Carbon is present in most of the daily used materials. Not only in the non-living things but also in the living organisms. Carbon is present in our body. Yes, you heard it right. Carbon is present in the body of human beings also. Not only in the body of human beings but also in the body of all living organisms whether unicellular or multicellular. Because of this we can tell that carbon dominates the living world. Carbon is an element which occupies the sixth place in the periodic table with atomic number 6 and mass number 12. It is one among the few non-metals present in nature. Now let us see the percentage composition of carbon in earth's crust and in atmosphere. What you are observing now is the gas composition of atmosphere. Major portion of the atmosphere is filled by nitrogen up to 78% whereas 21% of oxygen is present. You can see that the carbon dioxide occupies only 0.04% whereas other gases are less than 1%. So you can see that the percentage composition of carbon dioxide in atmosphere is 0.04%. In the earth's crust we find around 0.02% of carbon that too in the form of compounds. Note that the composition of carbon in earth's crust and in atmosphere is very very negligible. Carbon occurs in nature in both pure form or the elemental form and also in the combined state where it combines with the other elements to form compounds. In the pure form it occurs in two states. Carbon occurs in its pure form as graphite and also as diamonds. In the combined state it occurs in number of compounds like carbon dioxide, in the carbohydrates which are also called as sugars, in lipids, proteins, DNA and many other organic molecules. It is also present in chalk, in the fossil fuels which we use that is diesel, petrol, natural gas and others and the list grows. Carbon forms compounds with so many different atoms and hence we see that carbon compounds are very common in nature. Recall that carbon occurs in nature in very small amount up to 0.04% in the atmosphere and 0.02% in the earth's crust. But even with this limited availability, carbon is considered as significant element. The fact that carbon dominates the living world or the organic world makes it clear that carbon has played a very important role in the origin and sustenance of life. In this chapter, carbon and its compound, you will be learning more about carbon. From this video, you have understood the significance of carbon and also known the percentage composition of carbon in nature.